veterinary surgeon now chatting with the jockey. She's out. All right, she's come out. So on vet's advice, she's out Arabian Summer. The favourite is out of the Lightning Stakes at the start after busting through the gates. Gates are open and they're off and beginning well was Kuro Yanagi, Whistlefield and also Bonavina and Satin and Silk is showing tremendous speed and will probably burrow up and lead. Magic Field, Kuro Yanagi now drop in from Mez Rua and then came deeper out is uh, Richtamore on the fence, followed then by Wiggum deeper out, and then came behind runners Brave Action, Mighty's in the middle, and then a gap to Lingani, Aviatris, and Hajra's last of all. Whistlefield, well off the rail, is leading narrowly as they race up towards the bend with Satin and Silk sticking to the fence. Magic Field, Mezrua, and then Richtamore. Hajra's on the rail. Kuryanagi to the outside, Lingani, Wiggum, Aviatris very deep, Whistlefield joined by Satin and Silk, Mazrua's powering through, Lingani's working through between them late and out wide Aviatris and also Kuro Yanagi, Lingani's hitting the front from Kuro Yanagi, Yin Lingani! Lingani won the Lightning Stakes, I fancy, from Kuro Yanagi and Aviatris. Close up was Mighty and then Whistlefield, who tired the last 50 with Mesrua, but they both ran good races. Satin and Silk, Rish Damore, Brave Action, Magic Field, Hajra, and then towards the back is Wiggum with Bonavina. The late scratching at the gates was Arabian Summer. A massive push from John Kelton for nine Lingani and at a big prize. She wins the Sportsbet Lightning Stakes. Dominic Tourneur for Peter and Belinda Blanche. Defeating Kiri Yanagi, Aviatris third, Mighty fourth, 9, 15, 8 and 10. The big shock at the gates with the late scratching of the Tony and Calvin McAvoy Philly Arabian Summer. But it's 9, 15, 8 and 10. They're nearly ready at Matawa. We get a rig.